So it's me your boy K Samson. I have this word for us today. It's for both every word, everyone, both man and woman. You know, because sometimes I see a lot of my amazing what coach ones up there. I mean YouTubers, people who talk about choosing, you know, who give inspiration, motivation, etc. So I saw a lot of people talking about Jezebel spirit that we should be careful with. Some ladies, you know, that some are sent from different what different opinions, some are sent from different assignments as a Jezebel, you know, to to destroy the, what our energy. But I'm here to tell you it's not only ladies. <laughs> Forget about it. It's not only ladies. There are men who have also what Jezebel spirit. Believe me, there are men who will come into your life as a woman. They will rule everything, destroy everything. Why? Because they have that spirit. That what that Jezebel spirit. It lies in them. It sleep with them. It do what it do them. It mo it, it, it work with them in all what in all form. So we need to be careful with what. With people we involved with our life, <laughs> why? Because Jezebel spirit is real. Forget a, any any other joke. Jezebel spirit is real. So people will come into your life for the aim of thinking they want to be with you. They want to live life with you. They want to do some certain things with you without you obviously knowing that they just come in order for them to rule and destroy your life for you. You got me saying? So, both man and woman, we need to be careful whom we date. Yes, let me put it in this way. Whom we date, whom we marry, whom we try to make what our life with. Yes, because many people will be sent into your life in order for them to do it, just to help your enemy to destroy you. You, you get it. So some people will be assigned spiritually to come into your life just to rule it, to destroy it. So Samson was a great word, a great man in the Bible. It was recorded that he, he, was, he was the strongest even till now. Because no man on earth till now can do what can break that record or that can do what he have done. Forget. Yes, we have many strong what strong soldiers we have many strong president we have many strong what lawyers we have many strong personality we have many strong this or that we may call but it was recorded even till now that he is the strongest man in history so what am i trying to say it was also woman that killed him because someone who leak your secret to your enemy is the one that kill you it's not your enemy <laughs> you got what i'm saying Someone who tell your enemy your wicked point is the one that do, that automatically will destroy you. It's not the one. It's not the one who point gun at you that kill you. It is the one who tell them your location that do what that kill you. So what am I trying to say is this, and that is the reason why majority of people always point on ladies, on ladies. No, <laughs> forget about whatever we are talking about. It's not only ladies. You know what I'm saying? If you if you read the book of what Esther. You will come to understand that there was a man called Herman. <laughs> Herman was also a, a man who carried the, what, the spirit of Jezebel. Yes. You know, when the spirit of Jezebel enters into you, first of all, you get what jealous. You will never be content with what you have. You will always feel less of yourself. And you will always feel to do or to have more. Even when you have, you will never be satisfied with that which you have within you. So what am I trying to say is this. Herman was also a man who carried the spirit of a Jezebel. It slept with him. So, you, you, you know, sometimes we need to be careful with people we date. We date. Yes. You know, <laughs> you know there is something that my dad used to tell me when I was at home. He said something. <laughs> be careful with someone you touch by anger by this because many people are walking what walking stick but spiritually they are dead forget about joke many people you are seeing right in front of you many are walking stick yes believe me 
many are walking stick. They are, they are already what terminated spiritually because they, they have already weakened their what their point. There are some people who are just walking, but the enemies have already destroyed what their destiny. The enemy have already terminated their destiny. So if you involve your life with them, think about what will be your what your next what your next option. What will be your what your your your, your goal towards someone whom the enemies have already destroyed their destiny. So what am I trying to say? Whenever you sleep with someone who have this spirit of jealous, um, this spirit of Jezebel, you do what? It mobilizes your own. You got me saying? It reproduces your own. It generates everything together. It comes together. It associates with you. And then you start to behave like them. So that is the reason why you need to be careful with someone you have what? Contact with when it comes to what? Relationship. Because relationship of these days is not like before where you tell your partner, wait until we get married access etc you know what i'm saying so you need to be careful with someone you mingle with because i do used to say this if you marry a delilah <laughs> oh my god this is working this, this is just making me to be what to be laughing if you marry delilah if you marry someone who god have not ordained for you <laughs> the bible recorded that if you marry a what um <laughs> <laughs> a woman, a, a, how did the Bible put it? A, wo a rude woman, let me put it in this way. A woman who will never be content every time, battle upon battle. It is better for the man to live on what on a roof. To tell you how, how dangerous it is for you to marry someone who is not your soulmate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if you marry someone who is not destined for you, someone who God has never destined, just because of you you have emotionally what emotionally uh, but let me say how like you just see him on the first time you said you love him because of whether she is beautiful she is cute or the man is beautiful the man is handsome this you said you love him without trying to figure out what work with him the spirit he carried the sentences around him you just fall in love in getting to that you get pregnant and you decide to lead to what to marriage without realizing whom you are marrying so it will come to a point where it will hook you so that is the reason why you ought to be careful because if you marry the wrong woman in your life the wrong man in your life you are doomed yes believe me if you mar many people will confirm what i'm saying many ladies will understand you know there was a lady that was being what killed by her husband that was last two months, a singer, a Nigerian singer, Sina, or Sinachi. Many people know it. Many Africa guys do what knows it, both ladies. So uh, if you can go and search it, you will see who I'm talking about, Nigerian lady called Sinachi, Sister Sinachi. So she was married to this woman. Every time what violent, domestic violent, the woman will build her, the woman will talk to her, the woman will say all sorts of things. She is a singer. And many people after her death, many people are commenting, why is it that she refused to leave that marriage? <laughs> you can't say, many people are commenting, why is it that she refused to leave that marriage? But if for eventually she leave that marriage, you will come to understand that many people will not do what, invite her for some certain programs. Many people will be accusing her. Many people will be telling her, why do you ought to divorce your man? Why do you ought to do this? So she was patiently what, there, Hoping that one day things will change. You can say, hoping that one day things will change. But as for me, as I see it, I prefer she do what she divorced. She divorced. But if because if but the problem is that we we keep thinking what people will say. If for example she divorced, she will have been what alive. Maybe she is what afraid of what people are going to say about her, what people are going to talk, so certain what people are going to do or to be saying. And because it may be the thing will rule her what her, her what her dream, her goal, her purpose. So what am I trying to say? We need to be careful when it comes to what someone we are ready to deal with. Because majority of people whom you are seeing, who just love you, don't love you for whom you are. They just love you for what you can bring to the table. That is the question many women are asking ladies today. What do you bring? What can you bring to the table? If you love someone, you don't need to ask her what 
will she bring to the table? You are saying you don't ask, you don't, you don't need to ask a lady what will she bring to a, a table. If she don't have nothing to bring to the table, you can do what you can teach her how what to bring to the table. If she don't have material, she have material, and she don't know how to sew the material, you can teach her how to sew the material. So what am I trying to say is this: Let's be careful with someone we involve our life with. So this man killed the woman. Every day, violent. What do you call that? Jezebel was spirit. It ruled in him. Because any man that raised his or her hand to beat her wife, someone you call the apple of your eyes, the changing in your cupboard, the, 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 the tomato in your eye, the, the romance. In, you know, when I was in secondary school, so whenever our teachers asked us to, to write love message, <laughs> this is what I love. I always love. You know, there was a message that I, uh, when I was in Italy here, I know that majority of my friends will watch this video. Majority of my Italian student friends, both Nigeria, Africa, you know, uh, let me put it in this way. So there was a letter that I, I, uh, I wrote those days when I was in school. So this, uh, my English teacher asked me to, to ask us to write love letter. Then I used her name because she asked us to choose someone we prefer. And there was a girl that I do used to go with. She was a Romanian. So this girl, you know, I take her as my sister. I love her. We do used to go. You know, anywhere I'm going, she will be with me. It's not that she will leave her class to come to my class. We you know we eat together. So that she will carry some biscuit. We will eat together. Then I use this girl name, and this girl name is also the same name with my teacher. So what do I what do I mean? I use her name to write the letter. So she was reading the word, the letter in front of everybody. When she starts the word, dear love, you are the apple of my of my eye. So after she have read everything, I said, I write it with what with the signature. Goodbye. I miss you. Hope to see you one day. Bien. You know, I just write it like this. So she just she just reads the letter. She says, Samson, why do you have to put my name? I said, No, 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 it's not your name. Is someone that I'm interested on that I used to I take as my sister that her name is this. I say, okay, that girl. I say yes. So what am I trying to say? Someone that you call your love, you will never, no matter what happened, you will not have the what the urge to raise your hand on her. You know what I'm saying? Because you love her, she is the one that you are interested on. So people will always love you for what you can bring to the table, not for whom you are. <laughs> that is why many marriage are crashing today because many people just love you for whom you are for what you can bring to the table for what they are seeing around you not for whom you are so the moment you can't bring something anything to the table that is when problem will arise that is when troubles will arise because they don't love you for whom you are but they just love you for what you have <laughs> you can't say so we need to be careful with people who come into our life because majority of people will come into your life pretending as if they love you. But in reality, they don't. They just love you because of that which you have. Many of them will, are sent from the pit of hell to destroy you. Because it takes one only, only one spirit of Jezebel to terminate your life. If you come to understand, you will understand. If you come to notice it, revise many strong men. Many strong women who have left this world unexpectedly. You come saying many people who die on family death just because of what someone whom they love who don't love them. Because you can't tell me that you love someone, you'll be beating her. That is Jezebel's spirit manipulating you. You can say that is Jezebel's spirit manipulating them. So, what am I trying to say? It takes only one lady. To destroy a man. It takes only one lady. And it takes only one man to destroy a woman. That is why you are you will see some ladies, they are not comfortable. Many of if you if people who are married today are hundred, people who are happy with their marriage are not up to 45. Believe me, are not up to 45. Because many people who involve a marriage involve it not with their own heart, but because of something they see that the man have. Or something they see that the woman have. 
So what am I trying to say? Let's be careful with someone we call our wife, someone we want to date, someone we want to live life with, someone we want to love. Because some people will come into your life just to destroy it, pretending as if they love you. You know what I'm saying? Let's be careful. This is all I have for you, brothers. Be careful with what Jezebel. Jezebel's spirit is running around. It's rolling around as never before. You know what I'm saying? So remember, blessed. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.